and welcome back to TechStack channel. Today we'll try to explore challenge number 12. So the bot name is invoice creation bot. So basically we have one input Excel file. So which we need to read that data. And from that data, we need to update each and every sheet data. So and make it into the PDF file and later send to the customer. So now I'm opening the Excel file. And we have three different sheets and we have the sum data. So this data we need to update into the PDF file and send mail to the customers. Moving back to the UiPath Studio and reading the data from Excel file. And taking the path. So this is my input Excel file. I'm taking the same path. So now it's completed and the next step is I need to take the three different sheet names so because we have multiple sheets and we don't know might be it increase or decrease as of now we have the three different sheets. So let me take those three different sheets data. So for that I'm creating one more extra variable. Workbook sheets. And next taking one act as an activity. Creating one new variable sheets. And here I will make it as worksheets dot okay. sheets dot two array. So this error occurring because we need to change the sheets to I mean we need to change the variable type. So here it should be an array of string. So the error gone disappears. So now we got all the sheets. So next step is we need to loop. So because we have multiple sheets, taking for each activity. And here I will update sheets. Okay, and later I need to read the data. Read range, I'm taking read range activity. And here I need to change the sheet names. So here I make it as current item dot string and I am just opening this Excel file because I don't know from which range to read. So let me observe how the data looks. So A1 and ends with the E column and here are the same. Okay fine. So now I will update the range as A1 is two and last column is E. So I will take as E5. Let me check one more time. So here I have in the E6. So you can do this approach or you can another approach is it. So try to read that column E and take that last row. So you can append that. Anything is fine. As of now, I will make it as dynamic uh, static one. And here I will make it as one variable name called input data table. So this is done. And later I will read couple of the data here. So I will read this bill to name and these uh, details I will write. So next I will read. Read cell. And I my cell it should be. Okay, this is F1. Similar way, I will read for name this all data. I will read. So here you can update these things to in data table, or you can read one by one. So anything is fine up to you. So as of now, I'm going with the normal way. I will read this all one by one. All data can be captured in uh, UI path, and we can see the variables. So username and user com company name, user company name address. So all details are available here. So now everything is completed and the next step is we need to update this data into the word document. So let me take one sequence. And the rest of the data will keep it inside of the sequence. For the channel, please subscribe, share and like the video.
and if you have any doubts please mention a comment section taking word application so now taking the word application support and here i need to update the path so i will just take the same path and i change the name so let me update the same thing and input up to till their same data after that i want to change the name so here i already taken the username so let me take the same username so in the username i have the person name so and i'm updating the same and save it into the doc so once everything is done and later finally i will save the same file into the pdf format the first step is done and next i want to update the data so for updating the data i need to take append text so i'm taking the append text and updating the data so the first step is uh, let me open the excel file one more time so on the top i need to make it as build to so let me take here build to data this is done and next name and uh, this downside name so this two be in the one line so i'm taking the same thing name after i will keep it as colon and plus i make it as your user name so i will just append the user name so this is completed and next similar i will do for these rest of the things So all details are updated and finally i am updating the insert data into the core document so here uh, i have one data table so which i have already read from the excel and i am adding at the end of the position and just i will run one instance uh, for the for first loop uh, just for checking <clears throat> whether the data is able to updating correct or not So it's updating the data and let me check. So it updated field two and the name, company name and address. Now let me step into one more time. Okay, all data is updated. So this is fine. After that, I need to save this data to PDF format. So I'm stopping this bot. And save this file as, I mean, save this document as PDF. And I'm mentioning the same document name. So it's completed. Finally, all details were updated and mail activity also updated. So now finally running this bot and we'll see how it will works. So initially it will run that bot and pick the data from the Excel file. So whatever the data is required, all the data will pick from the Excel file and it will create the one uh, word document. So once everything data is updated in the Word document, then it's finally converted into the PDF document and it will send that mail to the respective persons. And first one is completed and it's moving to the second uh, sheet. And now finally it's moved to the third sheet. And we can see that data is updating here. and bot will run successfully and i'm going to the output folder i mean output folder means the same thing so let me open this one so it's updated the data into the from what to pdf document and already i told you now so if you want you can uh, you, if you want to reduce this extra columns downside here so just find this what is the last row of this uh, particular column and put it back and let me open this as well so this is looks good and finally so all are completed let me open outlook as well i'm moving to the send items and just i will check whether the items have been sent or not so 
mail has been sent.